mean, there's just blood everywhere. We don't need the blood trail though. Get down over there, we'll follow it anyway. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna check my trail cameras. Got uh, several of our white 22 plots. And it's been a rough year. We had bad EHD last year. I just haven't been seeing the bugs that I saw last year. <clears throat> Out on the farm here in central Missouri, but the biggest mature buck that I've got so far is a big seven. And these great big bodies all scarred up. I've been watching me chasing all the other bucks off food plots and stuff. He's just old bully. I think he's, you know, five or six. But he doesn't have any rack and he's smaller than he was last year, so. It's getting close to gun season. So I think I'm gonna go after him. Just get a mature dope, uh, buck out of the field, you know. Stay with us. We're gonna, supposed to be a cold front coming in Sunday. We're gonna go after him that morning, so. We'll see what happens. All right, it's October 27th. Here in uh, central Missouri, it's a morning night. It's about 32 degrees this morning. Calm, crisp. Frost, just that one perfect morning, so stay with me. We'll see what happens. Should be a pretty good morning. Midwest obsessed, baby. can't tell, I'm about to make a bad mistake. Shot at that seven point. I was having a hard time getting him in the camera, but I hope I got it. Pretty sure I hit him, so we'll give a little bit and see what happened. All right, it's been a little while. <clears throat> go down, get my arrow, and go get the buck. I watched him fall <clears throat> 50 yards from the tree, so. Check him out. I got good blood on the arrow. Saw him fall right over there. So. I'm gonna get this arrow and we're gonna go over and look. As you can see, I shot the wrong deer. He came in, heat of the moment. He didn't stop, so I didn't have time to even get binoculars on him. 
trying to get the camera on him to film myself. It was just, it was a mess, but try to shoot mature deer. And this little guy came in and I just got mixed up because he had a huge body like that seven and a little rack. But I shot him, didn't even know it wasn't the seven until I got up on him and seen it was a nine, but mistakes happen. That's bow hunting for you. Matt.
part this year. Oh, that's my first buck with my obsession bow. Oh man, I'm fired up. Anyway, he came out of this timber down here to my west, chasing some does. He didn't come quite as close as I wanted him to, but I think I got a decent shot on him, about 55 yards. Uh, looks a little bit back, so I'm gonna let him sit a while. Getting ready to go over to a buddy's house and check the footage out on the big screen, see what I can see. I don't know if you can tell on the footage or not, but I'm a little worried about it being a liver shot. And two coyotes came out of this timber to the west and were following him uh, to where he went in. I stood up and got their attention and whistled and waved at him and they ran back to the to the west. So hopefully they stay away from him and let him bed down and he can expire. But uh, we'll see what happens. Whew. Hopefully we find this deer. He's an awesome deer. So Whew. stay with us. We'll be back soon. Midwest of Sis, baby. Well, here we are, November 13th. Got my uh, first buck with my obsession bow down for this season, so we're uh, two days away from Missouri's rifle season. It's getting down to crunch time, and he come out chasing a couple does, and I got him to stop at uh, 57 yards, it's a bit of a poke, but I made a better shot than I thought I did. We left him for six hours, you know, didn't quite know for sure, so we elected to back out of there after watching the footage, and uh, Ended up being a good idea, it's always a good idea, but he didn't go 150 yards and he was stiff as a board when we found him, so. Made a good shot, awesome buck, good four year old buck. Uh, good one to get out of there and a uh, heck of a trophy, so. We uh, got in this morning, I was filming myself, sprayed down with my uh, Just For Bucks acorn scent because the wind was terrible for me and when I shot him, he was literally directly downwind and didn't have a clue. Two does, just uh, clueless to my presence and he paid for it. So, awesome season so far. We're gonna keep after it. We got rifle season coming up. Ken's taking his wife, I'm taking my grandma, or my grandpa. So, we're gonna see if we can't get some family members some deer and then we're gonna get back after it again. So, Midwest obsessed, baby.
smoked. That guy is dead right there in the creek. Finally come together, baby. Yes. I hope I got that on film. That deer, I seen him over here. In the in the hay field, in the pasture over here. I don't know if I missed the doe running by, but he had snows to the ground. He was trot and I hit the ground goal. Uh, he stopped, but then took off again. I snort wheezed at him. He turned on a dime and just come in. I lost him in this taller CRP grass right before the ditch. <laughs> then he popped up in the ditch. I tried to get on him, but he was coming in fast. I zoomed the camera out when he was close. I know I made a good shot. I can see him laying. He's dead. Oh my God, Midwest obsessed, baby. Big buck down. Let me grab my obsession bow. We'll go check out the arrow. Whacker did it. I mean, there's just blood everywhere. We don't need the blood trail though. Be down over there. We'll follow it anyway. Up through here. If I didn't see him go down, we'd find him pretty easy with this blood trail. him doing this from the stand and he dies right where he made his last scrape oh yeah <laughs> Cool, we got a little two and a half inch kicker right there. Nice deer. Yep, like I said, I grunted, snort wheezed this deer in from probably 200 yards. He come in on string. I mean, he got I don't know, 50 yards from me and made this scrape right behind us. And then after that, he just come right up wondering where that grunting was coming from I shot him about 18 yards he come back died about 50 yards away from the stand this is my first buck for the 2013 season with Midwest obsessed and first buck with my new obsession bow blood sport quiver blood sport arrows and just for bucks I mean I love this stuff it's just for bucks cover scent we have been hunting with this all year. We've had deer, I swear, five yards downwind of us. Don't even know we're there. I mean, this stuff works. I mean, I just love it. Uh, pretty pumped. 
Rifle season's right around the corner, so I'm glad to get a nice buck on the ground right before rifle season. Midwest success, baby. Buck down in Missouri. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, get out there and live obsessed.